I'm Kira and I'm the product manager for Roxy Hard Goods. All right. So the misconception for Roxy is that it's just more bubble gum or you know like just the girls brand but all of our boards have the top technologies in the industry and that's included in every Roxy board. So not only do we have great graphics and they're feminine, so we're girls, it's okay to be feminine but you have everything inside of it to back it up. We start out with the line with Taurus Pro Model so it has everything, all the bells and whistles. A lot of the, pro the uh, technologies that you'll find in a lot of the higher-end lib boards. So we have the Colombian Gold Core, which is super lightweight, really high strength uh, to weight ratio. And um, even if you feel it, super light um, Vectran fibers, which is a liquid crystal polymer. So it makes it super snappy and, again, lightweight. Um, this is the board that Tora won the Olympics on. She won the gold medal last year, so that's, of course, another great thing. And C2 banana traction technology. So you have a reverse camber between the feet and camber on the tip and tail. Once, once people start riding magnet traction, they never want to ride a board without it. C2 um, hooks up sooner, hangs on longer. You know, so it's a little more uh, grip, a little more control where you have straight BTX or banana traction that it's um, a little more loose, a little more playful. So depending on your style and how you like to ride and what you're riding, that's going to be better for some people. So we have the top three boards, so the Eminence, Taurus Pro Model, the Envy, and the Olipop all have C2. Then the BTX, or the Ally is the straight BTX, so banana traction. Um, so Envy is the next board in the line. So this is more of your free ride, big mountain board. Because of the bamboo in it, it makes it a little more snappy. Um, it has the full NV core, which is lightweight, and NV is actually short for environmental. Uh, the best quality of this, I would say, is snappy because the bamboo has that quality. Um, it's going to give a lot back, so definitely a more advanced girl. As for graphics, is it just the one graphic, one color, or do you guys have yeah. a little bit of combination? Or? One graphic, one color. Um, it just makes it more simple for buying, and then you're not like bummed that you don't get a board um, the color you want if it's not the size that you want. But we do have is probably my favorite base graphic. So the artist is Mario Hugo. Um, just did a really cool with the art and with the painting. Um, and then you can see here over top of the bamboo. Next, if you want to move to the Olipop, so team board, park board. Um, it has the Opop harmonic core, which is a little thinner in between the feet, um, but you don't lose the tip, tip and tail pop. Good art, no tip and tail pop. Um, C2 banana traction. Uh, TNT base, which is the fastest base that we have. The the two Envy and the Eminence are centered bases. So just a fun all-around board. See it a lot out on the hill with Erin Comstock, who is in the standard film. She's filming again for next year with them. And um, this is actually our best-selling board. Now, you said this was a true twin or just a twin shape? True twin. True twin. Um, little bit wider in the waist, but not more than average. Uh, for a park board, so you have a little more stomp ability. How much input do your team riders get? Every bit. They're in it from the beginning, whether, um, you know, how the board rides, trying out new shapes, trying out new technologies. Um, a lot of times we'll send them out blind, so we'll send them out three boards, like with Tora, we'll say, okay, here's ABC, you try out that board and you tell us what you like, so we're not tainting it by telling her, then afterwards we discuss what she wants, and then if she has any issues, she'll come back, but that rarely happens. Uh, what, are, what are size options for most of your boards? Um, or this one every board has a, a pretty good range. The Eminence is a little bit more limited, um, only goes down to a 47. Um, that may change next year, but uh, everything in the range that you need. I mean, from generally 43, 41, all the way up to 57, 55. Uh, or 56 this went down to this year. The sugar, the silhouette and the sugar boards, this is where um, you can't have everything for the right price. And so people who are a little more price conscious, we have banana without magnet traction. So you're still getting um, reverse camber between the bindings, straight, flat from the feet out. Um, more catch free, easier to ride, easier to learn how to turn, but you don't have the magnet traction just simply you can't put everything in and, and have it for these prices. So still fun boards, very soft, flexible, easy to learn, fun. Yeah, so we have the Inspire for the little kids. We start at a 117 because that board is banana traction. Um, we're 100% made in the USA 
And so um, with quality uh, materials and fibers, so we, we, we don't have cheap materials. And so we're making quality boards and you're making it for a kid who's going to become a snowboarder. Not for that kid who's like, maybe so, maybe not. So we, why not then put all the technology into it and have those kids have everything and then it can progress with them because they're going to have the board for a few years. So for that reason, we start at a 117. Goes up to a 134 and then we start 139 here with the Ally. So go on. Okay, so to talk about bindings, we have two different types of bindings. We have traditional and we have fast, which are rocket bindings. So traditional, I'll pull Taurus, and then you can see this one too. Um, this is our team binding. Uh, we have a new high back this year, so super cord out, lightweight, um, really easy to, you all, to use, all tool free. Um, the strap, this is the important part. This is a real feel strap, meaning it's not super cushy and going to pack out in a week. So like a good pair of running shoes, when you buy a nice high-end pair of running shoes, it's it's a little more dense but really comfortable and it's not going to change over time. So it's going to have that same comfortable feeling over the lifetime of that strap. Uh, convertible toe strap, so on the top over here, full covered EVA um, and just an all around fun binding. This is a nice feature, top adjust here. You don't have to take the binding off to adjust it and center it on your board. Really nice feature. Comes in three different colorways. So this one here, and then this is actually Torres this year. Normally she has a more bright color, but it just didn't make sense with her um, setup. So we did a nice classic black. You have your Bright Edition logos here, gold medal for her gold medal last year. And then my favorite little addition is signature on the inside of the strap. So next, um, and this technology is on um, the rest of the rocket or the high speed bindings, but we'll just talk about the high end here, the rocket power. So it's a reclining um, high back. So the way it works, pop it open here. And if you watch the strap when this happens, this opens up. So you have a little more room to slide your foot in. But then the nice thing, snap it here, you're in and it's set. The other good thing, and this is a great thing for women, is that once you're on the chair, you have the presets all done. This is a chair lift relief buckle. You open up here, a little more circulation, a little more heat, a little more warming for your feet. At the top, you snap it back down and you're in. Um, toe cap here, triple cushioning here, so you have base in between the board and the binding. You have your EVA here, and then you have your impact here for your gel. All of our boards are environmental, and we have the world's most environment environmentally friendly snowboard factory in the entire world, hands down. The Envy is just a little bit more because it has the bamboo, but all of our boards are sublimated, so it's um, very friendly process, low temperature sublimation. Um, the bamboo, we use um, soy-based inks, soy elastomer sidewalls, um, and just our factory as the whole, the way it functions. We recycle up to seven tons a month of material, and that's also because of the, the uh, processes that we use allow us to do that. A lot of the processes that are used, um, you can't recycle that material because it won't recycle. Um, we do our own core shop, so all that kindling and all that wood gets recycled as well. And so, um, we hear our Amber Staff House is new Rock City team manager. Can you tell us a little bit about how that progressed? Right, so um, Jessica uh, had other opportunities with her husband in another company, and um, it was kind of good timing. She also they had a baby, and so she um, they ended up moving up to Oregon, and it just made sense to move Amber into the position. She knows snow, not only from an athlete's perspective, but from production, and so she's had to be a little bit, you know, behind the scenes, handling those types of things, um, not just being the kid, but being Santa Claus, if you will. <laughs> Um, so she came in-house and she handles the team and she does marketing and it couldn't be a better match. Um, Is she going to have any uh, creative power in the film? Are you guys she handles all of our podcasts. She is the marketing manager as well, and so she has a heavy hand in the marketing and making sure that it's right for snowboarding and it's true to what the heart of snowboarding is, not just Roxy branding. Have you seen the Roxy refreshments? You can sign up on iTunes or the Roxy website. Um, so they do the podcasts, and um, that's something she's going to continue doing, which is great because she has that filming eye. She did do a lot of films. She did all the mischief films before. 
so she knows it. Um, anything new in the Anybody new that you're looking at? Some of those things I can't say. <laughs> um, but they definitely have their eyes out. And um, right now it's just our main tour, of course, Robin and Aaron. And Shirsi in Europe, I should add. We have a very long time. She's killing it. She hasn't slowed down. If anything, in the last couple of years, I've seen her really start being more aggressive. She's filming a lot. Um, like I said, she's filming with standards. They've asked her back. She had one of the longest parts for the women in standard last year, and it's just been a really good relationship. We're going to continue. And, of course, then she'll be in the podcast and everything from there. This is Kira Malcolmus with Roxy Snowboards, and you're watching Shred Betty's TV.